Introduction to Self-Study of Clinical Looking Glass. For deeper understanding of cohorts and cohort building, read Riddles in Accountable Healthcare by Aaron Bellin, available on Amazon in both paperback and Kindle. Pathway to Clinical Looking Glass Use. Before training, all users will complete the expected and required forms. Go to this website to find out how to become a user. Medical students will complete the city course in research and pass the appropriate exam. The following materials should be reviewed. The book, Riddles in Accountable Healthcare, a primer to develop analytic intuition for medical homes and population health, will let you understand some of the key concepts that are core to understanding how to use clinical looking glass. You should read chapters 1, 3, 4, 5, 8, 11, 19, and 21, and don't worry, the chapters are short and a quick read. Also read Montefiore Policy and Procedure, JC07.1, Appropriate Use of Clinical Looking Glass. Also read the Policy and Procedure on Practical Guidance in the Use of Clinical Looking Glass. Read the instructions for registering QI projects. Read Chapter 1 of the Self-Study Syllabus, The Cohort Paradigm, pages 1 through 15. And we have an encryption expectation. Everyone should acquire an encryption program, for example, PC Magazine's File Warden 3, and even your limited data sets should be encrypted when not on machines on site at Montefiore. Even limited data sets must be treated with great respect and should not be stored on flash drives, laptops, cloud storage without encryption. Medical students will be expected to prove their capability to encrypt. Mac users are not supported at the moment with clinical looking glass, but you are advised for your research purposes to always encrypt your Mac hard drive through native Mac encryption. All trainees will take and pass the CLG appropriate use exam, which is based on a thorough understanding of JC07.1A. We want to make sure that everyone understands the importance of patient confidentiality and the appropriate use of clinical looking glass. We have a number of self-training guides which are in fact the core to the training exercises in preparation. First guide is a cohort paradigm. Second guide is study designer. Third guide is the in-class problem discovery of drug side effects using study designer. And the fourth guide is special topics. These guides are used in our in-class training and serve as a material that is used to test you in the basic competency exam. There are manuals available in CLG. Those manuals can be found under Help, Manuals, and there you have the User Manual, the Ad Hoc Reports, the Event Definitions, where all the different events are defined, and an Addendum. In addition, the system has streaming videos to go over the CLG modules, and see how we actually work through them so you can self-educate on any of those topics. Videos we just went over. Everyone must take a basic competency exam. Within two months of account activation, all users must pass the basic competency exam. The passing grade is 100%. You are allowed to take it as many times as you like. You can exit the test and return to where you left off. And you are allowed to ask your colleagues to critique your wrong solutions. Just don't ask them to give you the answer. CLG is a collaborative environment, and we want to encourage constructive collaboration. In preparation for this class, we expect you also to view my YouTube channel, Ron Bellin's YouTube channel, 
and there are two YouTube videos which you'll find useful. The Cohort Paradigm, which I'll click into now. The Cohort Paradigm. And Anatomy of a Simple Cohort. Anatomy of a Simple Cohort. After you've seen these two, you'll have a better understanding of the first 15 pages of the manual on the cohort paradigm. What follows will be videos to accompany the cohort paradigm self-study manual. You will learn how to build a diabetic cohort. You will then build a diabetic cohort was ultimately brought to bad control or ultimately to good control using the within temporal operator. You will develop index event line intuition using the browse function and you will learn to build a CHF cohort using a diagnostic set.